Hi friends! I'm back with our beginner yoga pose series and tonight the next one on that poster of beginner poses was um, Halasana which is plow pose and it's very fun to tr to do this pose. It's very good for the back. It's a really excellent stretch for that back especially if you have back issues, lower back issues. Um, it's very peaceful some of the things it can do is also teach you to kind of suspend your breath, but there's also this place where you need to release any kind of sense of panic because you do compress the throat in that halasana. It, it gets a little bit compressed and you want to be able to relax it enough to not panic and be like, I can't breathe. So um, there's many stages along the way to getting into this pose and it's just wonderful for the back. Um, Please take the one that suits you. Please take the one that feels the best for you because this is really about taking care of the back, this pose. And so let's go ahead and get started. And it also kind of gives you that massage across the back of the shoulder girdle, which is also really helpful. Um, so you will come to a nice long place in your mat. I'm very tall, so I have to find the longest place possible. And then from that point, you just kind of you can take a moment to sit here in this nice stacked pose and you see how like two lines of energy, the torso is straight up and down, those legs are straight out, you have that parallel to the earth and then you have that perpendicular to the earth, those two lines of energy and right here you're tucking that belly button gently back, you've got that core activated, you've got that heart lifted, that sternum is lifted up high and that crown of the head is reaching up. Right here, you're getting some really awesome core work, so you can go ahead and do that and take some deep breaths to calm yourself. I'm still kind of in high gear, so I actually need to do this. I just got home from the recording, and so it's time to center myself on the mat, slow it down a little bit, take some breaths, and so it's nice to do that. Just take this time. We've got core work getting done. You can bring those toes gently back towards you. And just feel those sitting bones connected right into that earth. Let your thoughts just slide away. Taking those nice, nice deep belly breaths. And then the nice thing with plow pose is you get to lie down. So you just want to roll. Keep that chin tucked into your chest the whole time. That way when you roll down, there's no pressure on that neck. And you can come into this lovely Shavasana pose right here. Except we're not going to do that. We're going to go for plow. So right here in building up to plow, you can just come into this nice little knees bent, feet parallel. They're about hip distance apart. Now you notice that your back, your low back is a little bit dipped off the floor here. So if you want, you can bring those knees into the chest and just kind of rock gently. You can take your hands underneath your knees and just rock in this little egg. And that way, that little low back, that dip that usually raises up when you lay down, gets a little bit of massaging. And that's what's really gonna feel the stretch in the plow. So right here, if you have a wall handy at the end of every day, I cannot recommend legs up the wall enough. This is basically legs up the wall if there were a wall behind me. And you just take your bottom straight up against the wall and then just extend your feet up that wall and just relax. And here your back gets that relaxation, that bit of a back rub. And the blood will rush back towards your heart and you can just lay here with your arms just splayed out a little bit, palms up, and just breathe away all the stress of the day. I highly recommend this at the end of every day or the beginning to energize yourself and get yourself ready. So right here, you still got a little bit of core if you don't have the wall. With the wall, you can just utterly relax, but without the wall, you're gonna activate those heels towards the sky and you're getting some core work here. But then with the, with the plow pose, the halasana, you're bringing those legs back. So you're bringing them even closer in. Now also you know you're gonna be getting a hamstring stretch here. And you can do anything you want along the way. So if you have a couch at home, you can do right here. You can take your legs up onto that couch cushion. Imagine there's a couch right there or a chair. Or you can take a pillow and you can, a nice fluffy pillow, and you can kind of pick up your bottom and get that pillow under there. 
And that helps bring those hips up a little higher and helps bring those feet back even further. You can use a block if you want to, but the pillow is a little softer. And then you could stack up the pillows and it helps bring you up even higher, like if you have a couple pillows. And that's gonna help bring you back to this nice stretch. Now you notice I have this little stool here as well. You can use a stool behind you. And there you're kind of activating your arms at this point. And then if you come into that full plow, then you won't have that stool in the way like I do. So those toes are just gonna drop down behind you. Let me see if I can quickly move that stool out of the way. So you're gonna come into that full plow if you can, but like I said, anywhere along the way, you could be building up pillows underneath your low back, underneath, and just keep stacking them up to kind of support you. Now you feel that come into the back of your shoulders at this point. You also wanna make sure that you've got some padding underneath your neck. Always, always, always guard your neck. And we like to say that that space, that kind of dip in the hollow of your neck, there should be room to slide about a half of an apple underneath there. So you wanna have that nice and relaxed. You don't want any pressure on that very top vertebrae, right where the neck and the shoulders kind of join. And so right here, you can keep your hands down and kind of activate your palms and that helps press it up. Like I said, stack all those pillows up there and help just seeing how that feels. So here your toes are kind of on the floor behind you and you're gonna feel that stretch in those hamstrings. You're also gonna feel what I was talking about, that kind of gentle pressure, not pressure, kind of compression of the throat. And, you know, depending on your body, just make sure you relax and that you always feel calm and like, of course I can breathe. Because if you feel like you're suffocating, you're gonna panic and you don't want that involved in any part of yoga. Panic and fear do not belong on the mat. <laughs> so, like I said, take all those pillows that you want and kind of stack them up under here. Use the couch behind you maybe, or a chair behind you to kind of keep those legs a little higher. And keeping those arms down, either palms up or palms down, whatever you need. If you need a little extra, you know, work, then you can keep those, or stability, you can keep those palms down and it'll feel like it's helping you. But once those feet are over, then you can just begin to relax here and you kind of bring those sitting bones up towards the sky. And like I said, use blankets and pillows and bolsters and whatever, making sure that you have something soft and padded underneath your neck to keep that protected, especially that very top vertebrae and that space of that half apple in that dip of your neck. And right here, those toes are just gently pressing the earth or just touching the earth behind you. And you're feeling that stretch and lengthening along that whole mid to lower spine and those arms just relax out. And you're getting a little bit of work on the back of those shoulders as well. And you can just drop those knees down even. But this is your palasana, your plow pose. You're getting great stretch along those hamstrings. You're getting work all the steps along the way. Like I said, have fun with those pillows and the couch and the wall. Just kind of building up that support underneath here. You can even take your hands and kind of hold underneath here. But anywhere along the way, you're gonna feel that stretch coming into that low back. It's so delicious. And then, like I said, I cannot recommend enough at the end of every day, take those legs up the wall. It's also, you know, if you're laying in the living room, legs up on the couch like so, with a couch being right there, give that a try. All those things are so good for the back, so good for those hamstrings when those legs are straight back behind you. And they're just fun, and your kids will wanna join you in it as well. So. Enjoy Halasana, plow pose, and let's all breathe and relax together because the light that shines in me honors that light shining in all of you, and it unites us all. Namaste.